what is a radius cutter and how do you use it? A radius cutter is very simply a tool that puts a radius on the edge of your part. The only reason we really need to make a video on this is because a lot of people make mistakes when it comes to radius cutters and the fact they don't really know how to go about blending their radius onto their part. Because if you go too deep in Z, you can gouge your part. And if you go too far in X, you can also gouge your part. There are many different ways that machinists have taught me to use radius cutters to get a good blend. And I'm going to show you guys the different ways. But in this video, I'm going to show you the one way that I like to use. And then throughout the project tutorials, I'll kind of have different ways to go about using a radius cutter. But again, in this video, I'm going to show you guys a good way that I like to use. When it comes to touching off on your uh, pilot of your radius cutter, you want to be sure to touch off where the radius is going to be cut out. Because what we are going to do is we are going to turn the spindle on and barely touch our edge of our part and barely cut into our part and then move away two thou. And we're going to do that in two different axes. And then we will be able to take one cut away from our part to where it, it leaves a good blend, but it does not gouge our part. So let's go ahead and start. We'll get our first direction set. You want to move close to your part and you want to move the pilot just a little bit below the top of your part. Now that it's just a hair below, all we have to do is turn our spindle on. And we're going to move over till we barely, barely touch our part. All right, now that we have barely touched our part, I'm going to move up in Z out of the way, turn the spindle off, and I'm going to move away two thou from my part. So I'm going to set zero on the DRO, and I'm going to move away from my part two thou, and then set zero again. Now I'm going to move away from my part and we are going to touch the top of the radius. So again, we're going to get close to our part before we turn the spindle on. We're going to turn our spindle on and we're going to move up with our knee until it touches our part. Okay, now that we have, now that we have that, we're gonna set zero, move away from our part, and we're gonna bring it up at least one thou. So we're gonna move away, and then back to our zero to get the backlash out. And we're gonna stay off at least two thou. Now all we have to do is move over back to our zero and X, So remember, if you go past it, to come away and then come back to it so to, you can get the backlash of the machine out. And we want to conventional cut. We don't want to climb cut. So you want to be on the right side. So now that we're at our zero, we're just going to cut across our radius. You can take a few passes so that it to make sure to get all the extra material out of the way. 